Hello and welcome to this tech tip series with me, Rory, from Hyper Production. And today I'm here with Sonic Academy giving you a tech tip on how to elongate and make your crashes last for longer. Now, this technique might seem a little bit obvious, but again, it's a little tech tip of mine. Not many people or anybody that I show it to tends to be quite surprised and it works for them. So I thought I would share the knowledge. So if we've got these effects switched off here, this is what the crash normally sounds like. Okay, so it sounds very short, so it just dies off a little bit. So all we're using is basically like a delay, but it's also using something else as well. But let me show you what we've got on the delay. So what you want to do is basically find a time signature that's not necessarily mapped to your DAW. So you actually want to turn tempo sync off. Now there's a little bit of a mix to taste type of technique and you kind of need to just play around with it to get it sounding quite good or else you do get that sort of like stuttered effect like ch -ch -ch -ch, which can sound fine if that's the sound that you want but I find this technique works a little bit better to actually make it sound more elongated so the diffusion of the symbol lasts for longer. So we've got it set at the moment at 224 milliseconds because that is kind of like the sweet spot as to where we are or where we're at. And the feedback you want to set at about 89. But again, you need to mix that to taste to make sure that it's not sort of self-oscillating. So if we've got that set to sort of 100. That will just keep feeding back and keep going on. And if we've got it more, more than 100. See, and it just goes a little bit crazy. But if you've got it to 100 and you want a crash to really last a long time, then obviously just bump it up to 100. But we're going to leave it at 89 because that's just about the amount of time that we need for it to work. So let's just recap quickly. Delay time, not on tempo sync, feedback 89%. You want your dry signal to be 100% because you want to hear that initial hit quite clearly. And then the wet, you've got it, I've got it at 59 but again, have a play around with that to see how much your symbol is going to be needing to cut through your mix or whether you've got quite a minimal track. This is quite a full track and there's a lot of stuff going on. So we've got it at 59 then the other beauty of this trick is using the space designer. So this is basically just your covering up of the delay. So this is basically just smoothing everything out a little bit. And because if you haven't got that on with the reverb, and we solo that. Okay, so you can hear those sort of chops just a little bit. But if we've got this space designer on as well. Again, solos, you can kind of hear it, but it masks it a little bit. But then when you've got it in the mix. You can't really hear it at all. And that's the beauty of that little trick. So if you've got a crash that's not quite working, but might, might be in the right pitch, but you just want it to be a bit longer, tape delay on these settings. If you need to pause this video, then go ahead and do so. Copy these settings. And on the space designer, I think I've just used a large and bright preset on there to help cover up the chops. So there you go. You can pause it now if you like and just copy those settings. And that is how you elongate and stretch out your crashes. So I've been Rory from Hyper Production. You've been watching Tech Tip Series on Sonic Academy. So I shall catch you on another video. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.